what the done in space is for her team. But this one should be fun. I mean, speaking of Baltimore, we got, you know, we had a treat last week, the Thursday night football game. Okay. We got Bengals and Ravens. It's absolutely awesome. It's going to be a tough, tough to top that game. See somebody come in on Philly, three and a half favorites now, four in some spots. The total is up to 49.5. We have two of the top 10 offenses in football in Washington, 29 points per game. Philly at 25.9 and 29 points per game over our current five-game winning streak. They're only allowed 17.9 points per game on the defensive side, which is tied. Trying to make it the Chiefs and everybody. The Kansas City Chiefs just 13 allowed per game over Without us being overwhelmed. They haven't faced too many great yeah. teams that didn't limit Joe Burrow and company. So a true he test to see good. Uh, how this defense He's a multi responds. Yeah. Yeah. He's got two rookie corners, man. A good yeah. team who has been uh, fantastic since getting into the starting lineup after the week five bye. Uh, and then Quinn Mitchell has been really solid as well. So uh, Washington can score their defense. They turn things around. Dan Quinn, who's five to one to win coach of the year. This should be a really good game at the length. The Eagles have taken five of the last six matchups against Washington. But we see some high score games 38, 31, 34, 31, 32, 21. And Dan, yeah, I think we'll see some offense again tonight. Yeah, I mean, 49 and a half is the total. I think that's in play. And I'm really impressed, like you mentioned, Chris, with these two rookie uh, Eagles in the secondary, right? DeGene and Quinion Mitchell. And I actually believe that, you know, that's that's part of what I believe in with one of the props that I'm going to give out later on in the show. I do believe we will be able to blast the uh, McLaurin, Brown, and these other guys. And maybe Jaden will have to scramble a little bit more to extend the play. That's part of the props I'm on. But like you said, 49 and a half is total. Three and a half is the spread in this one. The Eagles are at home for Thursday night football. It's going to be a good one to kick off. Yeah, Jake Daniels, second in a dollar rushing yard, 464 and four rushing touchdowns. Oh, there it is. Seven eight rushing yards, third in the NFL among the quarterbacks. He has ten rushing touchdowns, the majority of them from the one and five. Hurts is your QB four in fantasy, and James is your quarterback six. Here from Morris is 300 yards. Shy from his fifth straight 1,000 yard season. AJ Brown has had a phenomenal season to support this Washington defense over the years. So there's a lot of uh, great assets from a fantasy football perspective yeah. that you have today. And of course, we'll talk to um, we'll talk to Ben, standing a little bit later on, how he feels Washington will game plan against this offense, and also what we could expect from Brian Robinson Jr., who is off the injury report, missed the last couple of games with a hamstring. He is good to go. He was limited early on in the short week, but he ramped things up. Had a full practice on Wednesday. 3.3 yards after contact. Is top five. I'm up back in the NFL using stats of over at Sorry. Fantasy oh, that you want me to do some more out? Oh. FTM show, save yourself a little bit of cash on everything we do not have to offer over at FTM Fantasy. Four to six yards per carry. Oh, what is that? Helping our career best. Go. Let's do that. Use your RB19 and a half points that was almost two years ago when we went to the NFL. Eckler's held it down over the last couple of weeks. Touchdowns over that stand-up. What do you look like here between two guys? I was going to say, like, obviously, it's good for the Robinson is back, but Eckler has been pretty much like an ATM on the anytime touchdown markets when he has been. You know, Eckler, Hurts, um, you know, we got Terry Terry out there. There's been a lot of veterans, I think, that have really supported the development of Jaden Daniels. And also, we talked about this as it related to like Anthony Richardson and others. I actually really do believe that Marcus Mariota has the backup. The experience of being that kind of dual threat with their back, understanding system. I think that has helped Jaden Daniels as well, but I'm interested to talk about it. Yeah, I mean, you could on Dan Clinton with the experience too, where you can get a guy like Smart. that. You know, play in any case, you know, Jaden 